Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today's video is gonna be how to clear as Kha'Zix. So there's gonna be four different clears and I'll explain all four of them and I'll show all four of them. And then I will explain when you should use each of the four clears. Um, depending on what champions you have on your team but also who you're playing against on enemy team. So the first clear I'm gonna be showing is a typical full clear from blue to red and um, Kha'Zix is not a 6 camp clearing jungler so he can only clear 5 camps before he has to go for the Skull Crab. so we'll clear blue first then Gromp then Wolves then Raptors then red then we go to the Butt Scuttle and then we clear Crux and then we reset so normally you will get a leash so you will actually have a little bit more HP than what I'll have, but even without a least, Kha'Zix will do just fine, so we'll just kite the blue towards the Gromp, finish it off with a Q, and then we take Gromp here. So, when it comes to smiting jungle camps, um, as Kha'Zix, I like to smite wolves, and the reason why I like to smite wolves is because blue and Gromp and red buff already have self-isolation because there's only one jungle camp so I already do double damage with my Q but for the wolves and for the raptors and crux I don't but raptors you can clear fairly easily so we just get the low uh, get the two small wolves to low HP so we can finish them off with a W and now we're back to full HP Actually, I didn't need to use my health pot uh, to clear my blue side, but I ended up doing it anyway because I didn't get a leash. If you do get a leash, then again, you don't have to use your health pot. For clearing raptors, you E over the wall, hit all five of the small raptors, then you W and auto each one of them, and then you just finish it off. And then we take red. And now it says three minutes on the clock, so in 10 seconds from now, the Skullcrab will spawn, and that's basically where we're gonna be going next. So Scuttle is up now, I would have been a little bit faster with a leash, but it is what it is. And we wanna keep our smite for the Skullcrab in case that the enemy jungler comes, um, because we don't have any CC for clearing Scuttle. If we don't see any jungler, then we can just instantly smite it to clear it a bit faster. But otherwise you can just hold on to your smite and execute the skull crab with your smite. Then the last jungle camp we have is gonna be Krux. And we'll go down here and clear this. And I'm just gonna clear the medium Krux here as well. And there we go. Now we're basing with 960 gold. So if you're playing Conquer Kha'Zix, you will be resetting with um, tier 2 boots, the cooldown boots. If you're playing Lethality Kha'Zix, you can go double longsword and tier 1 boots. Just wait a little bit in base. And then from now on, you would then go top to clear your top side camps because they will be spawning again. So that's the first clear. That's how you full clear in Kha'Zix. So when would you use this strategy? So this strategy can be used when you don't really feel like you have any good gank opportunities and um, not really anything is going to happen in the early game and you just want to like farm, get to level 6 um, kind of fast, then the full clear is the best way to go. The reason why we started on blue is because um, when we take blue we will have self-isolated uh, camps on blue and grump whereas on red side there's only the red buff so we simply clear uh, the blue side camps faster than we do the red side camps so yeah that's basically the, the first clear now let's reset the game and talk about the second clear so let's just do this can just fast forward. Um, 
And then we will start at 7 minutes to clear, just so we have a round number. So the second clear we're gonna be talking about is a reverse clear. So with this clear, you wanna be starting on your red buff. After you do red, you run straight to your other buff, which will be blue, and then you take Grump. And then after Grump, you... Or while you're doing Grump, you basically take a look at your two closest lanes. So in this situation, it will be my top and my mid. And you look at the waves. And then you see if you can go for a gank. And the best way to determine if you can gank or not is looking at how the lane is. So if the lane is slow pushing towards you, then you'll be able to gank like fairly soon. And you should probably go towards ganking. Whereas if the waves are pushing towards the enemy, then you probably cannot gank. But then you need to be aware of the fact that the enemy generally can gank. So maybe you want to counter gank or put a ward or something. So we cleared the red buff. Then we clear blue here. And then we clear Grump. And then while we're doing Grump, we're going to be looking at top. So here, the top wave is pushing towards the enemy. So we know that we can't gank. Same thing goes for mid. So here we cannot gank anyone. So since we can't gank anyone, then we will just go and reverse clear down back towards where we started, which was spot side. So we clear our wolves. And then afterwards we clear our raptors. We should probably have smited wolves instead of the grump, but smaller detail. So then we cleared the uh, raptors here. Then we see in 10 seconds the skull crab is gonna spawn because of the yellow mark. And then we clear the skull crab. And then after you do the skull crab, then you can look at mid lane and bot lane wave. Can we gank? If you can gank, go for it. If you can't, then. You just end up going to your crux, you clear the crux, and that's basically the clear. Um, so the question is, when do you want to use this clear over full clearing? So this is the clear that is a little bit more proactive and reactive, since you have the opportunity of being able to gank two lanes if the setup is correct. So if you have like a strong CC laner, or the wave is slow pushing towards your laner, then you can go for the gank. And if you don't, then you can still counter gank if the enemy, enemy jungler goes up for a um, gank since you're fairly close. And if you don't want to do either of that, then you just reverse clear and then you end up essentially also doing a full clear in almost the same amount of time. So then there is a third clear which is really similar to the clear that we just did, which is the reverse clear. And the clear is going to be as we did with this one, red, blue, grump. But then instead of actually either ganking or reverse clearing, we actually walk into the enemy jungle to kill the enemy jungler on their second buff. And the reason why we do that is because in this situation, let's say we do red, blue, grump, we do three jungle camps, we get level three. If the enemy jungler starts on bot side, and we will be able to tell if it's either warded or enemy bot lane leashes, comes late to lane, Enemy top laner stays in lane the entire time, stuff like that. So if we know that he starts on bot side, most jungles that are starting on blue, just like we did as Kha'Zix in the first clear, will first do blue, then do Grump, then do Wolves. So they will also be level 3, and then they're gonna be walking to Raptors. So while they're walking from Wolves to Raptors, in the same time you'll be walking from your Grump to enemy red. So the enemy will clear the Raptors, and then they walk to red buff. So they're up by one jungle camp, because they have done four. The three down here, plus this one. Well, you have only done three. But your goal is to either smite away this red buff from the enemy, or kill them. Um, so basically, you allow the enemy to farm one more jungle camp than you, but you are able to invade and kill the enemy, and basically position yourself um, better. And... You want to do this clear when you're playing against champions that you're stronger than in level 3. There are not that many champions that Kha'Zix specifically beats, but a good example would be like an Evelyn. Um, or... Will does Kha'Zix just straight up beat? Some of the tanks even. 
Um, pretty much like all the tanks except Nunu, because Nunu has too much um, sustain in his clear. You can pretty much do that into. Um, you can also do it into champions that are a bit stronger than you. It's a bit risky. But then your goal is not going to be to kill them, but just going to be to smite away the red buff and then run away. Um, so yeah, that's basically like if you want to invade, then that's the clear deal that you want to be doing. Then the fourth clear is actually a bonus tip, or a bonus clear. This is not something that you will do every game, but... It's basically if you're playing against a 6 cam clearing jungler, so a good example would be a Karatis, a Diana, um, I think even an Olaf can do it, uh, Nocturne maybe, basically any jungler that has fast enough clear speed that they can full clear the entire jungle. Uh, before 315. So Calyx can't do that. He can only clear five camps because he is not that fast at clearing Krugs. So he can only clear five, but there are some teams that can clear six. And again, that's like a Karthus, Diana, maybe an Olaf. Even Graves can do it if they're like really good. Lilia. Um, Udyr, I think, can also do it. Fiddlesticks. All of these type of champions. Um... You need to play proactive in level 1. And the way you do that is you start on the enemy jungle camps level 1. Because if you only clear 5 camps before you scuttle and the enemy clears 6, then they're always going to be ahead by one jungle camp. So you already concede your lead and just give the enemy a free lead every single time. Because they're just going to clear 6 camps and you can only clear 5 every single time. So in order to make up for that, Let's say the enemy starts on blue, then what we want to do is we would actually have a sweeper here. Then we would walk in with our top laner, maybe our mid laner, maybe our entire team, level 1, to get to this point, and then we start on the enemy red buff. And then while the enemy is doing blue, then we do their red buff. And why do we do that? Well, because by the time that the enemy gets here, their jungle camps are going to be gone. And then the enemy is forced to, if they still want to have that one jungle camp lead, then they have to walk into your jungle. But most of these power farming champions, you can also take raptors. Usually what I do is, if I have a ward, I'll put it here. If I don't have a ward, then I'll just take the red buff and leave. Go towards farming my own top side here. Um... So yeah, basically the enemy junglers that are 6 camp clearing junglers are not as strong in the early game. For example, like Karthus. Karthus is not really strong in the early game, so he doesn't really want to move into the enemy jungle in order to farm. Because if it's worded, or the enemy team checks it, or collapses on him, he doesn't really have a way of escaping because he's completely mobile. And he can't really fight anyone because he's a Karthus in the early game. So that's basically how you counter all these heavy power farming clearing champions that are currently in the meta if you're not playing one yourself. Like Calyx, for example. Um, so yeah, basically level 1, you walk with your entire team, you walk with the sweeper, you walk either just directly into the red buff here, or you can move in here, do like a, an invade through the tribush. And basically by the time that you get to this point, then preferably you want to get someone to put a ward down over here, you want to walk down here, check that nobody's down here, maybe get someone toward here. And then you just get at least from your top or your mid laner, or you can even solo it. And just say, yo, just cover me. Um, and then what your bot lane is going to do is they're going to recall, and then you want to tell them that they should put a ward. And preferably what they should do is they should stand here. So if I basically teleport... So... They're going to be walking from base, and instead of face checking, because maybe the enemy team is going to do the exact same thing to you, then to avoid the enemy team or having to face check, you walk up to this bush, put a word here, and then you'll be able to see if they're standing here. And if they are, then you're aware of the fact that, okay, we're just going to be very conjungling now, and then you just figure out what are you going to do next. And if they're not, then congratulations, you're up by one jungle camp, and now the enemy jungle is not going to get a free lead 
just from picking a six game clearing jungler and you only picking a five game clearing jungler. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions to the clears, then let me know in the comment section down below. Or you can ask me on my stream over at Twitch TV says Kami on Score And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, maybe to leave a like. If you want to see more, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.